What is going on, G2? It is your boy Mix here, and we are back for some more week five action here on Thursday Night Football here in the G2. We got us a game tonight between two three and one teams in the global gridiron, one representing the North and the other representing the East here. It's the Mounties at three and one represent the North, and we got the we got the Shams on the East side, man. Should be a great game as the teams run out of the field. Montreal versus Dublin. Big salute to everybody in the chat right now. This should be a game of epic proportions, man. I'm really excited about this one here. We are really starting to grind it out here in the G2. And this right here promising to be a classic game between two very good teams. One coached by Coach Mitchell O'Brien, the other just an AI team here, but they are absolutely on fire, man. Let me get a look in the chat real quick. We got 11 strong in here. We got Artie here, Jethro here, Darius here, Coco Punch is here. We got Hakeem Prince is here, McCain is here, Josh Romo is here, Fontanez is here. We got Caleb Combs, Coach Mitchell is in the chat as well. Pope the Great is here, Devin Taylor, obviously, Millionaire Vibes. And the list goes on, man. Big salute to all you guys there. We're going to go ahead and jump down to the field to get it underway as we have the Mounties versus the Shams. So the Shams going to kick this off. They'll get the ball at the half. Mounties going to aggressively bring us out of the end zone and will be stood up at the 17 yard line where we will get a chance to look at quarterback sensation here for Montreal Jeff Bro Davidson and let's look at the numbers on him over 1100 yards and four touchdowns no interceptions and the Mounties nonetheless we can say they have been good on the offensive side of things and also on the defensive side of things Davidson gonna start his drive out from the 17 yard line Looking to the outside, going to find his halfback there, and he will get to the 20-yard line, as that is going to be halfback Eric Pawkins making the four-yard reception on the play, and Paris Polo coming down, cornerback for the Shams, coming down to make a quick tackle there as an incomplete pass comes in. Davidson not able to connect on the outside there. To Greg Adams, who normally is able to find. Sometimes it takes them a little while to get warmed up. Here they are from the 20 now. This is going to send Hawkins out to the edge. Davidson stepping up. Might take off. Does. Slides through. Gets the first down and slides to the 30-yard line. A 10-yard gain on the play. And it's ironic. I was asking Coach Mitchell O'Brien, hey, is Jethro a run threat? And he says, yeah, sometimes. Sometimes he, he gets it off, he'll do it if he has to. And right there, had to, and gets it done. Davidson stepping up, gonna throw underneath. Cat's gonna be made, a big hit coming down. As he's gonna be hit by Tevin Barksdale. <laughs> so they finally get Greg Adams there. See the numbers on him last week, eight receptions. It's a five yard reception there and a big hit on top of it here. Davidson gonna throw. Incomplete pass. From the 35, here is Davidson in the pocket. Gonna throw, has a man, and that'll be Adams again there. So a good reception there, brings up fourth and inches. The defense holding on firm, and they just deny them there. And the Mountain's gonna play it safe and not. Go for that on four here. They'll punt this away. One bounce and hops into the end zone where we will get a chance to see the Shams come out here. Boy, but they got a ferocious quarterback on their side. Number 11 coming out here. This is Tate Roosevelt, the second here. Over 1,300 yards, 12 touchdowns here. He is making a name for himself very quickly here in the G2, but also in Dublin. He's gonna be at the 20. Quick pass, has a man. This Shamrock's offense, man, they are loaded. 
Max Hall, seven reception, 61 yards last week, but two touchdowns. He is a playmaker and a threat. You have to man this guy up, even double team at times. He will take advantage. We've seen him have some explosive weeks here in the G2 through just the first four weeks here. He's been absolutely amazing for the Shamrocks. As Tate Roosevelt will roll out, throws, has a man in the catch. It's going to be made to the 45 yard line. That is going to be another weapon that the Shams have there. That's Devon Heron. And I just love the respect and trust that Roosevelt, the second has in his wide receivers, threw that right in the coverage, put it in a nice spot there. And Heron coming down with that catch here. Shams moving at a fast pace here. They're going to run it inside. This is not going to be the feature back here. This is Ross Jr. getting to the 49. However, Nate Moss will be back sooner or later. So Kelvin Ross Jr. backing up. That's going to be another run inside as Kevin Ross Jr. has two carries, 12 yards. And I will say this, he's not as good as Nate Moss. But Kelvin Ross Jr. is a formidable back. He is a very good backup, and he has been getting the job done here for the Shamrocks since Nate Moss went down for six weeks earlier in this season here. Roosevelt going to throw. Catch going to be made, and that is going to be to the 37-yard line as he hooks back up with Heron on the play here. Now two receptions for Heron. Tate on the move. Now down to the 37-yard line. Christian Mack over the middle of the field. They're going to hand the ball off. And ooh, he gets nailed in the backfield. Big time hit. And look who that is. That's going to be Johnny Myers, the right end. They've been talking a lot about this guy. Boy, he really made his presence felt on that one. Third and six for the 39 now. Here is Roosevelt in the pocket. Going to throw and good defense underneath. And then they're going to flex on it at the end of that one there. Good defense. Nicholas Gilbert, cornerback of the Mounties, making a nice play there. And I've got to apologize. Uh, that was actually Matthew Austin, the DT, uh, that got back there on uh, Tate Roosevelt. So I apologize on that one. From the 23 yard line, single back formation. Bethel making some adjustments. Just dump it off here to Hawkins, and Hawkins makes a nice reception out of the backfield. Two yards on the play. Here's Davidson. Oh, has a man over the middle of the field. Steps up. Can he get out of the pressure? And slightly does here as he'll pick up two yards on the play. I don't think Davidson liked the look. Looked like he had a man over the middle of the field, but maybe the coverage a little bit too strong for him. Didn't want to take a chance there. Now on third and six. Throws. Connection made. First down as he finds his halfback. Hawkins out of the backfield again. This time, they're going to move the sticks here. It's a first down. Kevin Barstow actually lays a, a nice hit on Hawkins, and that's just kind of a problem when you receiving the ball over the middle of the field. Hey, you gotta leave yourself open. That kind of uh, pressure there, that kind of, those kind of hits by the defenders there. Hawkins going back out here. Trusting Jethro's arm, heavy in this offensive attack. Jethro gonna throw down the field, dime thrown as he gets that to the 35 yard line. Oh my, Kevin Pollard. Been hearing a lot about this kid as well. Young rookie, and look at this. Jethro Davison just puts that in a butter soft spot there. On the defense, gotta love the pass there and the accuracy. By Jethro Davidson. From the 35 in the offset, gonna send a man out. It's gonna be Hawkins again. Davidson under pressure, under, under, underneath him, sorry. That'll be Adams' third reception in the game so far. 3.16 left to go here in the first. Rolling out again. Death throw going underneath and can't connect this time. So he was trying to find number 80. That's Dwayne 
Mabry there, the wide receiver. Drop that ball. Another third and six for the Mounties. In the pocket, stepping up, going to take off and going to get a first down and then some as he won't slide. He's just going to fall forward there. Three carries, 29 yards for Jethro Davidson. And he's down to the 14-yard line. Davidson going to step up, takes off again, and going to be caught from behind, but he gets four yards on the play, and Dublin going to have to take an injury timeout. The Sandler will go to the sidelines. That's the right outside linebacker for the Shamrock, so we'll see how that's going to affect them in this game. Here is Davidson in the pocket. But a throw underneath has a man in zone touchdown Mounties. Greg Adams checking into the end zone. And boy, oh boy, the Mounties put on an impressive drive here. How about Jethro Davidson? Calling all the plays, switching things up, then utilizing every single last one of the weapons on field that he has, including the halfback there. That was a great drive there. They look absolutely amazing against this defense. This defense of the Shamrocks. Not a slouch here. This is the highest overall team, highest overall offense, highest overall defense uh, in the league. And Mounties making it look easy here on the road in Dublin. Nine plays, 77 yards, three minutes and 44 seconds. And this across the 20 and will be Tackled at the 23-yard line. That return there by Jacoby Fowler. Tate Roosevelt coming back out. Had a pretty nice drive, but ended in fourth and inches. And to get more of the same, we'll hand it off here. It's a good lane to the outside. 40, 45, breaks a tackle. 50 down to the 41-yard line. Kelvin Roth, Jr. Beautiful run outside, and how about the power on the end of that one here? Good block, open lane, real estate everywhere, and train time. Oh my, trucked him. <laughs> boy, oh boy, that's gonna be Stefan Stockton to free safety. You don't wanna run into a train, man. Jeez. From the 41. Hands off inside, good run, and Lane is looking good. Oh my, how about that? He gone. Touchdown, Shamrocks. Kelvin Roth Jr. putting it on his back right now, and that is an amazing run. <laughs> I'm about to lose it up here right now with how good this looks. Look at the blocks, look at the ball carry vision, look at this here turning on the afterburners. <laughs> Henry Haynes had to come all the way across the field before anybody, that's a strong safety, he came all the way across the field before anybody even got a single jersey there on Ross Jr. Absolutely amazing run there, couple of runs there. And the Shims tie this thing right back up. Look, these, this right here, man, the only thing, the only bad thing I can say about uh, these two teams here is that they're in the same conference. <laughs> Because this right here is going to be a rivalry game. I'm telling you, man, both of these teams are so good. This is going to be a great matchup every time we see this here between the Mounties and the Shamrocks. What a throw. And that will be a completion made to the 32-yard line. Eight-yard gain on the play there. Adams checking back in. Reed. They are really emphasizing the run here. Must have read Coach O'Brien's uh, mind earlier. <laughs> I was just trying to check. I was going to do a mini game on who would have the most rushing yards for quarterbacks. <laughs> Glad I didn't put that. <laughs> That's the 40-yard line. So Mabry with an eight-yard reception, and we are winding down here in the first quarter. We may get a chance to see one more play before time winds down and no they'll just take it into the second quarter here seven to seven ball game mounties and shams 
going at it right now. How about the run game, man? Wow. Jamrock's destroying it right now. Montreal from the 40. Throws. Has a man. And there's a nice reception made by Adams again. He is getting all the work here. This is just one thing that I've always loved about the tight end position is just, you know, their ability to do so much on the field, man. I mean, they got to block, pass block, run block. You know, they can isolate, take linebackers out. And then every once in a while, man, they get into a nice soft spot right there. They make receptions. Boy, can they really kill you if you're not manning them up here properly. Definitely going to try to take off here, but will be greeted as Clinton gets to him on that one here. Kendall Clinton, the right outside linebacker, doing a great job of not allowing Davidson to pin the corner on him. Hands off to Hawkins. Good run across the 45 down to the 30-yard line. A 19-yard gain there on the play. That's Hawkins' first one of the game. That's going to come here at the beginning of the second quarter. Been putting him in the pass heavy in this game. I'll run him again here. Hawkins. Uh-oh, it's a big lane. Down to the 10-yard line spinning. And will get the nine down to the nine-yard line before he's taken down there. So his first couple of runs, these are looking pretty good as well here. Flip backs, Mounties. Trying to mount up literally here from the nine. Davidson in the pocket, the throws, end zone, touchdown, Mounties. Evan Pollard into the end zone. And it's going to be another touchdown here. Oh, my. This has been a great game to watch so far. This is starting off to be a G2 classic in the making right now. How about Pollard, man? Just wide open here, kind of going against the green, against the flow of the defense as they were kind of shading back down the other side and he just cuts right across and nobody on him wide open over the middle of the end zone there and man that's got to be some kind of blown coverage somebody missing an assignment there but hey the Mounties are just going to take it here eight plays they go right down the field and put on another seven we already got 21 points between these two teams here we got 942 left to go here the numbers there on Kelvin Ross Jr., man. 54 carries, 367 yards, two touchdowns. Of course, his numbers are inflated because the feature back Nate Moss uh, is out for multiple weeks with an injury. But nonetheless, he has been eaten here for the Shamrocks. That looks like that's going to be Max Hall on the reception here. Another quick pass for him. That's someone that the Mountains are going to definitely have to contain. He is very sneaky, very good. Gonna run it, and Ross Jr. getting caught up there on his own lineman. He stopped back there by Austin. That's Matthew Austin at DT making another great play. Here's Tate Roosevelt under pressure. Can't get it off. It's chopped down. And 93 there. It's gonna be Josh Robinson, the defensive tackle that got back there on Tate Roosevelt. A second. TR, TR 11 going right down here. Look at this here. Great play. Great rush there. And the Shams going to fork this ball over. This is starting to look like the Mounties now are just starting to flex a little bit. I'm just kind of feeling like the Shams feel a bit outmatched at the moment right now. I mean, I get it, you know, they're a great team, they're at home, but these Mounties, man, they look seriously schemed up right now, taking advantage of all the mismatches they can possibly take advantage of here, and they haven't even got that guy going yet. He's got a couple of runs here, some big yards. Right now, the passing game has been absolutely phenomenal here for Davidson. He's gonna pass again, rolling out, gonna throw underneath and misses Hawkins out of the backfield there. It's wide open over the middle of the field, but you know, throw it across cross body like that off your back foot. Not going to get the best of accuracy each time you do that here. For the 39, here is Davidson in the pocket. Going to step, throws, catch made. That'll be Adams again here, making it easier 
third and two for the Mountains now. Adams with seven receptions, 54 yards. And they're going to go in the single back formation. Don't be fooled, though. I don't know if this is going to be a run. They're going to actually do it. Hawkins, big lanes. So they fooled me on that one here. Thought they might have tried the whole play action rollout thing. Hawkins going to pick up another first down on his third carry in this game. As the Mounties find themselves at the 46, and they run to the other side. Slides inside. Hawkins looking electric right now. Putting a lot of pressure on this defense. Sammy Angel, the middle linebacker, going to clean him up with the hit there. Six yards out from the first. Here's Davidson attacking the middle of the field. Has a man. And now it's going to be incomplete as he cannot connect with Kevin Pollard, who was in coverage there. Great defense there by Bo Hampton, the free safety, not letting that go down. Here's Davidson going to throw again. Finds a man underneath. It's just a little small touch pass there that picks up the first down. That's a familiar name right there. Dwight Franco. I absolutely love this guy's name. That's a football name right there. Look where Davidson puts that ball and how about the anticipation of Dwight Franco catching that ball low in traffic and moving the sticks here to 29. Going to run Hawkins. Hawkins going to be quickly tackled after a one-yard gain on the play. Hawkins, stiff arm, and third and four. Hey, Brick salute to you, Artie, man. This saw just like, like uh, just knocked out another four teams today. Eight down, 24 to go. Artie, man, you're moving at a fast pace, my brother. We appreciate you, man. It's a good catch there. As it gets to the 13-yard line. Eight receptions, 63 yards. For Adams here, 13 yards out. Here is Davidson. Gonna throw. And the connection is made there to Dwayne Mabry. Another impressive drive here by the Mounties. Guess you could say they're really on their high horse at this point. From the six, Davidson gonna roll out. Throws has a man. Hawkins gonna. He tackled at the five yard line. Makes it third and two. 17 to 22 here for Davidson. He is moving very methodically in this system. Davidson in zone. Touchdown Mounties. And look who it is. Greg Adams again with another reception, this time with a touchdown in the end zone. And the Mounties now are really, really turning it up here. 20 points in this ball game so far, and that's just too easy there for Jethro Davison, and you gotta like Greg Adams, man, immediately dropping down to his knees there as the ball was incoming to get the possession catch, make sure it doesn't get draw, uh, jarred loose there. Great job there by the tight end. Kick is up, and the kick is good. 12 plays, 62 yards, four minutes and 53 seconds taken off the clock, and we are now at the 307 mark here in the second quarter. And I got to say, Montreal looking super powerful right now. Just steal that. Coach O'Brien on the sidelines. He's, he's going crazy right now. He's in guys' faces. He wants to keep up the intensity. He doesn't want these guys to let any, any resolve come off. They don't want them to slow down at all. He's just trying to make these guys keep fighting, men and push this score up as much as they possibly can here. Gotta love a coach who's never is gonna be satisfied. Just 21 points, 28 points. Though. This guy, known him for a long time, and he's trying to get 50 out of this situation here. We'll see how he fares here. 14 point deficit right now. Two minutes and 39 seconds. Gonna throw. First down. How did he make that pass? Got that in there to Sibs there. <laughs> That'll be Landry Sibs, the wide receiver. He squeezes that right through. On the play. Good catch there by Sims as well. They'll run Ross. Big lane. And it's going to be a first down before he's going to be immediately greeted there. Ross Jr. up to 97 yards now as we head into the half here. Two minute warning is upon us here. 
97 yards in the first half. Running again. <laughs> That's going to be over 100. <laughs> 103, nine carries, 103 yards. Here is Roosevelt. Gonna throw it out the field as a man, and oh my, he gone. Touch down, Shamrocks. Landry Sims into the end zone. And he gets past the defense here. A great read there by Roosevelt, the second, and oh, there's nobody that was gonna catch him there. <laughs> I was Stephon Stockton, the free safety man. He got trucked earlier. This time, getting burned over the top there. Kick is up, and the kick is good. 21 to 14, five plays, 76 yards, and the Shamrocks gonna kind of calm the visiting team down a little bit here. Still saying we're in this game here. This down by seven now. Now he's with 135 uh, left to go. They'll bring this out to the 22 yard line and we'll see what they do with the last 90 seconds or so here. There's pretty solid numbers here. That's about 100 yards, 100 plus yards of carry and a touchdown every single week for Eric Hawkins. There's Davidson gonna throw. And the catch is gonna be held on to. Kevin Pollard really coming into form here. A little bit dangerous over the middle of the field. Davidson gonna attack to the sidelines and finds the honey hole right between the cornerback and safety. And they call a quick timeout there. That's a great pass. Nice reception. Now they're going man to man. Pollard at the bottom of the screen here. The 43. Davidson gonna attack outside and the catch will be made by Hawkins 21 to 26 190 yards and three passing touchdowns for Jethro Davidson can we say he's been on fire in this game from the 40 Davidson throws another catch made Kevin Pollard putting on a clinic right now and then you got to keep feeding them it's a clear mismatch Pollard getting the best of them Got to keep feeding them here. Going to try to get the screen off. Hawkins brings the corner. And will be tackled at the 23, where a timeout will be called by the Mounties now. 27 seconds. I'm O'Brien, I'm going to take a shot here. Going to throw, and they do. In zone, touchdown, Mounties. <laughs> Couldn't have called it any better than that. That'll be the UDFA, Gerald Pope. Into the end zone, and man, this is absolutely a dime here by Jethro Davidson. Look where he puts that ball there. And how about Pope with the vision, the awareness right there. Did he get the feed in? It looks like he did. They're not going to boot review it. And that's going to be a great catch there. OMG. <laughs> kick is up and the kick is good. And the Mounties, they had the ball with a minute and 33 seconds. A minute and 33 seconds. They talk, take off a little over a minute off the clock and get another seven points in this game to increase the lead back to 14. Absolutely phenomenal, man. And as Farrell Rain says, that's absolute work right there. That's how we work. <laughs> wow. Great work there. From the 25, see Pope the Goat in the chat right now. Let me get PTG, hashtag PTG in the chat right now. <laughs> you saw that touchdown? By Pope the Goat, I want you to put hashtag PTG in the chat, man. PDG. <laughs> Hands off. Good run. Will be to the 37 yard line. Here's Tate. Throws. Gets that to the 47. One timeout for the Shamrocks. Gonna launch one as a man. Catch will be made down to the 39. And now they'll just have to take a shot down the field. Here's Tate Roosevelt. Time expiring. Launches one into the end zone. And that is gonna be tipped away. And we are going to go to the half. Guys, we'll be back in just 
a moment. We'll be back for Friday Night Lights tomorrow. And boy, we got Buenos Aires 3-1 versus the Toronto Snowhawks 3-1. That should be a great game going out at 7.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow here on the G2. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe. You don't miss whenever we go live here in the G2. Also, follow us on that social media. Turn us up, man. We got a lot going on here. We're a very young league here man you can follow us at the greatest gridiron on instagram and also you can follow us at take flight g2 on twitter it is going down here in dublin how about the run game for dublin man they have been absolutely killing it sorry for the mountains <laughs> they've been absolutely killing it in this game gonna go ahead and get back down Gets it, to the <laughs> Gets it to the 22 yard line. It's Darius Hodge. I hate you, Darius Hodge. I absolutely despise Darius Hodge, man. Hey, Darius, go ahead and close that thing for everybody that said PTG. Uh, give those guys uh, 100 G bars. We're seeing PTG in the chat. We got to support each other, man. Let's go ahead and close that thing, man. Girls, catch made. The 30. It gets it to the 32 yard line. The first down. Second and ten now for the thirty four. Gonna run it inside and it gets to the thirty eight. And guys, man, I got myself confused. I was talking about the Shams. <laughs> yeah, the Sham Rocks, man, killing it on the ground here. Ross Jr., unfortunately, man, they're down by two touchdowns in this game. So they got to get it together here. Roosevelt gonna throw, catch. Oh, man. A little bit of miscommunication maybe there. And Tate Roosevelt threw the ball his direction, but just missed him there. Wide receiver not able to catch that, and that is going to go back to the Mounties now. Hawkins does not look bad himself. I mean, they've been using him as a utility back, but... And Ross Jr. on the other side, but he has been actually annihilated here. But you got to go with the production here. Four touchdowns in the first half. Which Davidson going to be, uh-oh, it's a fumble as he gets sacked here. And Hawkins is going to save him. And they only use lose two on the play there. And Jethro bailed out there by Hawkins. And he comes run, running in and just dies. Well, the ball here. Davidson going to take off here and then some and slides. Wow, interesting there is. <laughs> Could have definitely been a first down, but we'll just go ahead and go past that. They'll say third and inches on the 27. And that's a first down. Davidson gonna throw has a man and a catch will be made by Hawkins. Looks like Kendall Clinton, the right outside linebacker, got the tackle. Actually, they'll have a Sammy Angel, 59. And that's an incomplete pass there, 33. And a target. Hope on the sideline there. Not able to connect with him. 
Third and three. Davidson finds Adams, and Adams is going to pick up the first down. That throw, knowing he can rely on Greg Adams when he needs one here, and that is his 10th reception in this game, and we still got a load of time left on the clock where he's looking to set a G2 game, single game record, it looks like here. Throws, another catch made there to the 50-yard line. That'll be Kevin Pollard. He's got six receptions here. I wonder if he's going to get two or multiple 10-plus 10 10 reception yard wide, wide receivers in this game. Man. Throws, and that's a first down. That's going to be Adams again at the 46-yard line now. 11 receptions, 77 yards for him. Not sure what the single game record is just yet from the G2. Going to take off here. 30, slides. He gets to the 25-yard line. There's some awkward sliding here by Davidson in this game, man. Nonetheless, though, he picks up another first down. Mounties on their high horses. Just taking off here, finding lanes, finding the sweet spot, killing this jam zone right now. Overall wise, this was supposed to be the best defense in the league. Ooh, he gets upended on that play there. Good tackle on Pollard. Seven receptions for him now. Four down linemen. Gonna send Hawkins out. We've seen this before. Davidson attacking and gonna be broken up. It's a nice pass break up there by Bohampton, the free safety. And now it's 37. 36 passes, 14 carries here for the Mounties. Davidson in the pocket and throws that ball away. 29 to 37, 256 yards, four touchdowns for Jethro Davison. He's sporting a 14-point lead now. And Dublin getting a decent stop here, but can they stop the field goal? No, they cannot. 31 to 14. Now peace. Getting it done right now. Can't wait to see the mini games. Uh, who won in the mini games here? A, a chance to really win a lot of G bars in this game, man. You know, um, a lot of guys, you know, a lot of a lot of nervous guys, you know, wondering, am I going to be able to keep up the G bars? We we give G bars out, man. So all you got to do is just attend games and you know, you know, uh, you know, participate in the mini games and, and such like that. You get you get some G bars, man. It's a nice run, nice pass. He gets to the 48 yard line. Great run after catch on the play there by Kelvin Ross Jr. I don't think anybody was expecting that. They've been, you know, exclusively using him as just a you know a traditional halfback, going to him on there. That's a great play there. Two yard gain on the play. 122 yards for him on 13 carries. Roosevelt with a launch one deep down the field, and that is going to be great defense by Stephen Stockton, who's been getting kind of bullied on. You can see he's a smaller guy there, and he plays some nice defense down the field in one on one coverage. Roosevelt going to throw. Oh boy, and he misses him. Had him wide open there and just misses him here, and you can hear the dismay of the crowd right now. Is, how do you miss Sims on that play? It was wide open. Definitely going to have to punt this ball away. This is where it could really start to get ugly now. Mounties in a good opportunity now to really, really steal a, 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 all the thunder away from the Shamrocks now by putting on another touchdown in this ball game. And again, you can hear a pin drop in this stadium right now. Shamrocks trying to man them up here. They'll send Hawkins out wide and now a linebacker on Hawkins. Jethro though gonna attack the other side, goes with the coverage and the defense too strong. That'll be Lonnie Davis, the cornerback there, making a great play on the ball. Jethro flipping, 
a play. Davidson in the pocket, launches one. Sidelines, catch. Not gonna be made. Looked good for the moment. <laughs> Third and 10. So 10 underneath and one high. Davidson gonna take off and gets hit by Sprinkle. That'll bring up fourth and 13. Really like the aggressive defensive formation there by Dublin. Do exactly what they're supposed to do. I'm gonna punt this away. Will be fielded and will be at the 38 yard line. Three minutes left to go here in the third. Roosevelt slip cheese. Oh my. <laughs> he picked that one right up there. That'll be Nick Gardner, the left outside linebacker. And man, this is like fishing here. Tate Roosevelt with the cast, the lure. <laughs> Caught a bass immediately here. Look at that. <laughs> Gardner right on the hook. Great job there. From the 40 yard line. Run Hawkins low on the shoulder. Hawkins powering through. Finally going to be taken down at the 32 yard line. Sammy Angel. Big hit there. It's like Paris Polo got in there on it as well. That's all you can do if you're doubling now, man. Just try to hit, try to get the ball loose. I mean, the Mounties really have poured this thing on here. You're, you're down by three scores now, and you know, you got to resort to roughing these guys up a bit, showing them. Well, hey, we're not entirely soft here. We're pretty easy for Montreal. Here is Davidson, and oh man, almost an interception as he threw a dangerous ball between Tevin Barksdale and Paris Polo. They are trying to get to Pollard, and neither one of them able to come down with that football here. Mounties just going to tackle on another three here. A 48 yard attempt, kick is up, and the kick is good. 34. That's Henry. That Henry Haynes, or who's that? Kicker here. I apologize, I lost his uh his name here on the roster. It was Henley though. Nails that one. Yeah, Ricky Henley, the kicker. Number two, man. Nailed that kick there. Here's Roosevelt and the pressure going to be chopped down at the 13 yard line. R.J. Tiller getting some work now off the edge. This is where it starts to get dangerous now. You know, you're all beat up on offense. Your QB, you know, he's kind of dazed right now. And then the playmakers, they start to mount up here. R.J. Tiller, man. 99, going to make you pay for it now here in the late part of the ball game. Offensive line cannot afford to give up here. This could get very dangerous for Tate Roosevelt the second. That's inside. Good running here by Ross Jr. 125 on the ground, but it seems like his day has come to a crashing halt here. 30 19. 20 point deficit. Roosevelt is going to loft this ball out of bounds. <laughs> You gotta love, gotta love Josh Rummel there out of bounds, all the way out of bounds, trying to intercept the ball out of bounds. <laughs> Mounties not trying to give up anything here. Great day for the defense, only giving up 14 points. Offense is putting up 24. This is a lot of production. Single back. Throw. 
Jones. Catch going to be made on sidelines and Pollard going to be caught at the 26 yard line. You got to love. You just got to love that one there, man. Great pass there by Davidson. Out of the end of the third quarter as we are going to head into the fourth. Guys, put your twos up in the chat, man. Or, I'm sorry, fours in the chat. <laughs> G2 here. Hopkins getting to the 24 yard line. 10 carries, 72 yards. And now it's just downhill now for the Mounties. It just got a burn time off the clock. Stall, stall, stall. This clock here. <laughs> Put your two plus twos in the fourth of the chat. Yeah, put your two plus twos in the chat, guys. <laughs> put your twos and your G in the chat. <laughs> oh, man. Hawkins, fourth and eight. And at this point, the Mont Montreal just asking the Shams, what are you going to do, man? You know. <laughs> Just gonna keep running this thing here, burning off the clock. No need for them to really do too much. I'm not even sure if they really truly believe that the Shamrocks really can, you know, make a comeback in this game. Another field goal, though. It's the third field goal in a row. That is up, and they'll take it how they can get it here. 37 to 14. And the crowd continuing to show their dismay, disapproval of this game here, man. Montreal being flying in here. Looking to get out of here with an amazing and convincing, I guess you could say, win here against the Shamrocks, man. On the double. Good pass. That'll be made to the 32 yard line. <laughs> Roosevelt throws underneath. Yeah, you guys won't believe it, but I'm still trying to find my uh, my rhythm a bit, man. You know, I was off for uh, several months, you know, so uh, still still trying to find my rhythm, man. You know, I, I catch myself making some mistakes and everything, you know, but it's getting a little bit better. But today I actually had a I had a, a, lot, a lot of mistakes tonight. <laughs> Not sure how many of those you guys actually caught. But uh, yeah, trying to get trying to get better, man. Trying to get better, but you know, you take seven, eight, nine months off from it, man. And, you know, after you've been doing it for years, right? <laughs> Boy, it's just like uh, come crashing down on you sometimes, man. <laughs> I've learned to like kind of get quiet and try not to draw too much attention to it, then maybe apologize later. Here's Roosevelt in the pocket. Stepping back and incomplete pass. I'll say the ball left his hands for the hit there. Here's Tate Roosevelt. Gonna launch one. Catch made. Out of B to Haas there. Brady Hoss with that last catch. Roosevelt going to throw, and that'll be a reception made by Landry Sims now. Dublin trying to move the, move the ball a bit. They move the sticks. Seven minutes left to go in this game. Long shot for a comeback, but we'll see how this goes. Reception there going to be made by Burgess. Burgess, or Bridges, I'm sorry, Rashawn, Rashawn Bridges. Second reception. And the coverage. Another catch there by Bridges. You see the Mounties just kind of playing with him a bit here, you know, kind of a bend but don't break attitude. Just letting them burn off clock, keeping them, keeping them inbounds. Send him pressure now. That'll be the third and one here.
handoff. And that'll be a first down, Ross Jr. He's only had about four yards. Actually, no, let's see, 117 when we started the half. He's got, what, 126 now? He's got nine yards. <laughs> nine yards in this half. Wow. Quite impressive by the mountains. Is Roosevelt from the 18 gonna throw and cannot connect with Brady Haas on that one here. Third and seven from the 18. Handoff will be tackled. will be Godfrey here, and they gotta go for it on fourth and seven. I mean, I don't think they'll try the field goal down 23 points in this one. Good defense by the Mounties here. Shutting it down. It'll be uh, 97 there is Zaire Hawthorne, the defensive tackle that got out there to the outside. And here they are in fourth and seven. Could be the nail in the coffin here. Roosevelt throws in zone, and it's going to be a touchdown. Shamrocks. Brady Hoss into the end zone as they dial one in. Try to put some points on the board to make this thing a little bit more respectable here in the fourth quarter. Oh, it's a good pass, good catch there. Brady Hoss taking a mean shot from Claxon there in the end zone, but holding on to the football. I actually like Brady Hoss an awful lot, man. I wish the Dublin would use him a lot more when they're scheming. They'll run it inside. They'll have the two-point conversion as Ross Jr. takes flight into the end zone on that one and makes it. 37 to 22 here. So 15 points separating the two teams. 416 left. And they're not even gonna try. <laughs> they're not even gonna try to kick the outside kick. <laughs> they're just gonna kick this thing straight off. Maybe they're thinking they can play some defense, get the ball back or something here. Down 15, we'll see how this goes. How about the numbers on Pollard? Mounties looking to have two wide receivers with double digits and over 100 yards in this game. Here's Jethro, gonna throw, incomplete. Montreal has an injury time out on the field as Jason Womack is going to go down for them. Throws in. Hawkins going to rule that one in and he'll be wrestled down at the 39 yard line. Davidson, catch made by Adams, and we got to see the stats on him now. He gets to the 44-yard line. Greg Adams, the tight end, man, has been putting on a clinic. Let's see how many 12 receptions for him in this ball game. That's a great catch. Now he's wearing this clock out. From the 44. Hawkins breaking tackles. Oh my. It's got 91 yards on the ground now on 12 carries. It's nice hit. Hey guys, just want to uh, let you know um, the Nighthawks are playing at 9 p.m. tonight, actually. If you, uh, the opponent in just a second. I have a premiere game that was scheduled for earlier today, but uh, there were some issues with YouTube uh, processing, so we weren't able uh, to bring that game uh, to you uh, guys earlier. But hey, we'll, we'll have some action here uh, going down on the channel uh, at 9 p.m. So in about 45 minutes, if you're interested in seeing another game here, it'll be the Honolulu Riverhawks. That's a great run by Hawkins. It's so touch down Mounties, Eric Hawkins. 
tearing up the score and the Mounties continue to assert their dominance in this ball game. This has been a great game for Montreal. Coach O'Brien doing a great job scheming against the Shamrocks this week. And this is what fully loaded looks like here in the G2. 43 to 22. Big time win here for the Montreal Mounties. As I was saying earlier, just a moment ago, guys, uh, Honolulu River Hogs at 2-2 two two will be facing Rio Leo and the Rio de Janeiro Nighthawks, who are 2-2. Two two. That game is going to go down the channel at 9 p.m. So if you want to uh, see a, a late-night game, uh, log in or just wait, get the notifications on, uh, the game obviously will uh, activate in the Discord. So go and pop into that and check out some late-night football while you have your midnight snack or your free bed Pre-game, whatever you're gonna do <laughs> before you go to sleep tonight, man. So, any hoss reception there? Roosevelt gonna throw catch speed by Ross Jr. Third and three. Roosevelt, it's, like, it's just like they've been trying to pass himself out of a rut. It's a tired game, but Montreal was expecting it. They were expecting him to be pass heavy. And it just did not work out for Tate Roosevelt the second this week in the passing attack. These Mounties, boy, they really came, really came heavy. I mean, this running game has just been absolutely stalled. <laughs> he's got 11 yards in the half. He started with 117 at the half, and he's only picked up 11 yards since then. Great job by Montreal. Winding the clock out, there's Hawkins shimmying forward, powering through to the 24-yard line. 129 on the ground. And how about Jethro Davidson, man, leading the troops out here. Mountain's going to ride off into the sunset, man. They get this thing done, 44 to 22. What a game this was between the Montreal Mounties, who are going to improve the four and one on the season and the Dublin Shamrock. They're gonna fall to three and two. Devastating loss here for Tate Roosevelt the second. We'll see what he can do next week. Man, what a game here in the G2. Hey guys, it's been real. Appreciate you guys for coming through. And we're gonna go ahead and look at the uh, stats real quick and I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. Uh, stay tuned for the 9 p.m. Uh, premiere game that's going down. Uh, so just check us out, hit the like button, subscribe. We really appreciate you guys for supporting the channel. I'm gonna go ahead and just show the stats real quick and I'm gonna jump out of here, man. Appreciate you guys.
Are you looking for high quality simulation football action? Then look no further than the greatest gridiron. Our league consists of 32 relocated franchises from around the world. We are the World Games of Simulation Football, where teams from all over the globe will compete on the greatest of gridirons. Hone your skills as a player or a member of a franchise coaching staff. Compete yearly for our illustrious Global Bowl, awards, accolades, and bragging rights as you climb the ladder of success and greatness. Are you a pro or just an average Joe? The Greatest Gridiron is looking for dedicated and passionate people to help build a league that emphasizes on trust, loyalty, and respect. Look at you. What makes you so great? This is the Greatest Gridiron where you can't stop greatness. Take flight. Take flight. Take flight.